automotive industry is really transforming. This is actually driven by two things. One is the mechanical systems are becoming intelligent. More and more electronics and software is getting into that. And the other part, the convergence of technologies, which is really driving digitalization. Three mega trends the automotive industry is seeing is uh, one is efficiency, the other one is safety, and third is the automated driving. So ZF is driving this through Vision Zero. Vision Zero is zero accidents and zero emission. All the technologies that uh, uh, as a technological leader in the industry, uh, whatever that is being developed is in this direction. So we are making intelligent mechanical systems. We certainly want to make sure that our physical or the uh, mechanical systems become more and more intelligent through electronics and software. And that is what ZF is working for. And the second one is that the components are moving to system solutions. So what ZF is doing to drive this is uh, through an initiation called See, Think and then Act. When you say see, you see the uh, whole environment through the sensors. And then when you say think, think is the analytics from whatever the data that you have received. And the action is taken based on that to ensure that the whole thing is driving in the path of uh, zero emission and zero accidents. Digitalization drives uh, uh, ZF to India and to Hyderabad. Why Hyderabad? Uh, Hyderabad is the most happening place in India and of course the fifth dynamic city in the world. And that is why you have the best companies in the world uh, from the IT sector uh, having established their technical center. And ZF is setting up the India Technology Center in Hyderabad. And what do they do in India? They, they are going to develop products for the global market and also the cost sensitive local market. ZF is an attractive employer. It's a century of consistent performance and a very stable organization. It is a top three automotive suppliers and a technology leader, providing a lot of challenges to the employees. Third is that it's the culture there. It's very employee oriented and progressive. And this is what most of the millennial engineers in India get attracted to.